Clinical Presentation of PTSD. What is PTSD? PTSD, or post-traumatic stress disorder, is a common and chronic syndrome often seen in combat veterans following exposure to a traumatic event. Associated with the disorder is significant symptom-related distress and or functional impairment. PTSD is categorized by the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual, 5th edition, also known as DSM-5, as a trauma and stressor-related disorder. It was formerly considered as an anxiety disorder in earlier DSM editions. There are four main symptom subgroups or clusters that we'll be talking about. Also in DSM-5 was introduced a new diagnostic subtype for preschool age children with PTSD symptoms. The hallmark of PTSD is exposure to a traumatic event. Examples of these include a death, threatened death, actual or threatened serious injury, or actual or threatened sexual violence. These would include combat exposure, rape, and natural disasters. Symptoms of PTSD can be grouped into four primary symptom clusters. Re-experiencing the trauma, avoidance, arousal and reactivity, and negative, and alter negative alterations in mood and cognitions. We'll be talking about each of these more in detail. First is the re-experiencing the trauma. These include intrusive, traumatic, and reoccurring nightmares and dreams of the trauma. Also associated with re-experiencing are flashbacks and vivid memories of the event that make the person feel like the trauma is happening again all over. Second are the avoidance symptoms. These are persistent, effortful avoidance of activities or events that might remind them of the trauma, such as watching a war-related movie, television news, or discussions of, about wartime activities. Patients with PTSD frequently avoid family and friends, as well as places, objects, situations, or things that might remind them of the trauma. Third are arousal symptoms. These are a feeling as if the person is always in danger or a sense of panic that something bad is about to happen. Associated arousal symptoms include irritability or aggressive behavior, self-destructive or restless behavior, hypervigilance, an exaggerated startle response, difficulty concentrating, and sleep disturbances. Lastly are the mood and cognitive symptoms. These include loss of interest in activities, feelings of shame, guilt, anger, and horror, feeling numb or losing interest in things you used to care about, negative feelings about oneself or the world, blaming oneself or survival guilt, and feeling alienated from others with difficulty relating to and getting along with your spouse, family, friends, and coworkers. Associated with PTSD are a number of psychiatric disorders, comorbidities with disorders such as major depression, all types of substance abuse, panic disorder with agoraphobia, generalized anxiety disorder, social phobia, and specific phobias. When should you refer a patient for further evaluation? You should immediately refer someone if you feel there's an immediate danger and a need to hospitalize for the protection of the person. Also, if there are self-destructive thoughts or thoughts about suicide or thoughts about harming someone else, such as homicidal thoughts, or when there's active substance abuse. In summary, PTSD is a chronic condition that presents with a variety of clinical symptoms. Veterans are often reluctant to seek help because of the stigma associated with this disorder. The good news is there are effective treatments available.